show you guys how to do uh, a personalized personalized mat doormat for your home and I have seen these popped up on Pinterest and YouTube so I figured I would give it a shot um, this is gonna be my first time doing this and so you're just gonna have to roll along with the punches with me so what I do if I mess up, if I make a mistake, you're all going to see it for real, for real. <laughs> okay, so what I purchased was a doormat. Um, you can buy these online. Um, and you also can, I found mine at Target. Um, everybody said Target and I was like, nah, Walmart will have them, blah, blah, blah. So after months of looking, seriously, um, I had no luck. I went to Target. Cause I'm not a Target shopper, honestly. And when I went to Target, I had to go there for some other reasons. And uh, yeah, so here we are. I think I paid eight bucks for the mat. I think it was $7.99. Um, it came with this little tag on the side. It says doormat uh, room essentials. Um, it's an 18 inch by 30 doormat. So the little slip thingy is gonna come it's going to be right here on the corner edge of the mat when you buy it, okay? So, there's that. Here's the mat. You're going to need um, Craft Smart Outdoor Acrylic Paint. Um, I hope you guys can see that, okay? I know I am so sorry for the glare, for the light, but I will put all and everything that you need in the description below. Again, this Outdoor Acrylic Paint. Um... You probably can get regular paint and use that as well. Um, and after this is completely dry, I'm gonna still pull it, put a sealant on it. I was even thinking about doing the Never Wet, uh, which I did a video on it uh, a few months ago um, where everything that repels it. So I might put that even on it, you know, but you probably wanna seal it. So there's that. So the next step is to print out or to cut out whatever vinyl saying you want. For this saying, it says, walk all over me, everyone else does. And I think, the, what's, and a smiley face, so I don't think you can see it. I don't know, you're not gonna be able to see it with that. So, basically, um, you can put anything you want on these uh, mats. Uh, check Pinterest, ch uh, Google doormat sayings, uh, that's where I found this one, and I just looked through all the photos and, and sayings and everything, and I found this one. I have a few others that I thought were pretty cute, but it has swear words in it, and my daughter was like, Mom, no. <laughs> so, so I felt this one was probably the best one I could do. Um, so this is vinyl. This is 631, I believe, Oracle. Um, yep, Oracle 631. Uh, vinyl I just use silver you can use any color you want honestly because you're peeling it off anyways so whatever extra vinyl you don't care about using even if it's like a, a pukey green you could use that you know this is the best way to use up those long rolls of vinyl that you don't use um, this here uh, measures at so let me make sure I'll give you the measurements um, I did 23.919 inches uh, length and what's this for the height? I believe I did uh, 8.713 inches uh, up here. Length was the 18, height was 8. So as I can, as I'm looking at this, this could have been a little bit bigger. Um, there is a lot of room on these mats that I'm seeing now, but my my mat only is a 12 by 24. Um, I do have a silhouette cameo, but this is a Cricut mat because silhouette, um, their mats were, the, the long mat was a lot more expensive, so I bought the Cricut. So, yes, Cricut stuff does work on a silhouette. So now, basically, we're going to reverse this. So normally when you do vinyl on things, you um, take off the main top layer but I'm keeping the main top layer we need the letters to be removed normally 
It's the other way around. We remove the outside of the vinyl and keep the letters intact. But in this, we will do it the opposite way. I'm going to stop the video so I can fast forward it when I am removing the vinyl. Okay, be right back. Okay, method to my madness. Y'all get it. Okay, so now we're going, I'm going to remove this from my mat if I can. This is going to stick. Oh, shit. This as well.
where the part of the R came. Okay, and now I'm back. Um, so I tape it down. Now what I'm gonna do is everybody see, uh, seems to say that heat helps the vinyl stay down. Although this is sticky, it's not sticky sticking, so it's not like adhering to the mat. The same thing with my painter's tape. Um, it's enough to hold it down. 
I, I don't know if electrical tape might work better. Um, I don't have any electrical tape or else I would have used it. Um, duct tape might even work. You're just pulling this down so that when you're painting on it, it doesn't come up. Um, also, I was noticing my A here. It had uh, little spots of the rug that was like making it stick up. Just remove it. Take a pair of scissors and just trim that little excess off. It's not going to hurt it. You'll never know. Um, so I'm just going through here making sure everything looks good. Um, and everything looks good. That did not cut good on my machine, but that's fine. So I'm going to take my heat gun, um, embossing heat tool. Um, I have another heat gun, but I think it's going to be too hot for it. You can also use a hair dryer, people, so don't freak out and think you have to go buy a, a heat gun. You can use a hair dryer. Anything that's a good heat source. So I'm just going to run it over the vinyl, see if it does anything to it. I don't want to burn it. See how it's, it's just, you just want to take it over a little bit just to where it looks like it's crimping it. Just to make it lay a little bit flatter and be slow on this. Don't force it because you don't want to melt your whole vinyl to where it's going to singe up on you. You just want to give it a little bit of heat just to help it lay down. Like very carefully, because this stuff will melt it and you will have a mess on your hands. See, I didn't even go over it that much and I think I'm adding a little bit too heat, too much heat because I can feel it and I can smell it. So just give it a little bit of heat, guys, not too much. You don't need a lot. And then try to press it down as fast as you can. And it'll sit better on your mat. It does not have to look perfect. Remember, people are going to be walking on this. So. As long as they can see what it reads, that's good to go. You've accomplished your project. <laughs> to fry it. See how it's helping it lay down a little bit better so that it's not so bunched up on the mat. That's what I'm going for. Not a lot of heat. Actually, I think a blow dryer probably would have been better because I think this is a little bit too much heat. But if that's all you have, you can use it. Just don't fry it. <laughs> oh, there's more heat coming out of this little gun than what you think. This little machine here means business. That's for sure. And I am hot. I don't even know why I'd have a damn sweater on. <laughs> I'm going to take it off though because I am burning up. Put a little bit of extra heat on that right there because those A's, that middle A, don't want to stay down for the life of me. This one especially. Jeez. Would you stay down? Okay, I think that looks pretty good. That's it, that's it for that. Now, the fun part, I gotta get, I don't know if I have a plate down here. I am hot though. Take the sweater off. I don't think I have a plate. I'll be right back, I'm gonna go grab a paper plate. 
So now what I'm gonna do is take my paintbrush. Um, a lot of people use the paintbrushes or a really anything, and all you're gonna do is go like this. You're just gonna go over your letters carefully without letting them peel up and getting the paint underneath them, okay? That's all you're gonna do. I'm gonna do a few letters and then I will flip you over and go fast and speed it up. I'll do a walk so you get the gist of it. You just go over the letters. Okay, like that. Now this is gonna take about three or four coats um, because you really wanna make sure, because as I can see, I can still see the brown spots and you don't want that. So what I'm gonna do is put the layer, first layer down, I will let it dry, come back, do another layer, let that dry, come back and do another layer and let that dry. All right guys, I will bring you back when the product is finished. 